This is uh, 13 Pamela Way. Initially, you can actually see the house. It was overgrown in the front. There were hedges and bushes completely covering everything against the house. Uh, but then it had been a little more demo work than we planned. We knew we were gutting it. But like anything else, once you start opening up walls, uh, it, it becomes interesting. I I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of the house, show you where we are so far. Uh, my wife Janet's here with me as well. And some of the decisions we've been going through and uh, we'll take you around. I'll show you the exterior first and what we did and then we'll head inside and show you that. So this is 13 Pamela Way. It's a uh, four bed, one bath cape. We're actually gonna make it a three bed, two and a half bath cape. It needs a new roof. And one of the interesting, interesting things is um, the chimney, I had one of my masons come over. He's like, the inside is so bad that uh, it would be cheaper to take it down. Uh, but there's a one car garage in here. And as you're coming back, but this whole back, this was all overgrown. Everything was over the top of this roof line here. Uh, and the back was all overgrown. It was all against the house. And you can see it's all rotted, like even, even in that corner there, all those corner boards are gone. So when you're up in that room, you can see light. This here, these windows, that's gonna become a slider. And we'll have a deck here. A deck will come all the way down. Uh, I plan to put a shower in, because we're two blocks from the beach. You sort of have to have a shower. This middle window here, that's a bathroom. In it, there was, as I was demoing the bathroom yesterday, it was a massive carpenter ant nest. As a matter of fact, there was a bee's nest as well in there. So that is completely rotted out. You can take a look. Completely rotted out. And, and then this was completely over, and you couldn't even walk through here. So if we come inside, there are two small rooms here, all hardwood floors. Uh, we're going to take that down, put an LVL across there, and the plan is to make this one room with a master suite. Living room, we just finished gutting this out yesterday. As you can see, some light there around the fireplace. It smells overwhelmingly like cat urine, a uh, point that starts to make you nauseous after a while, and then, and then you get used to it. But if I bring this floor up, well, the challenge becomes now It'll be higher, so these stairs I definitely won't do. I'll have to put a platform in. And if I got to put a platform, it's going to be three by three minimum, there'll be no room for a car. So the reality is if I bring this floor up and we're going to take this wall out and put an LVL across here uh, and bring this floor up to level because the ceiling heights are the same uh, to make the kitchen bigger, then this access to the garage has to come out because I would have to put a platform in, there'd be no room for the garage for a car anyway. The kitchen, it was disgusting, it's still disgusting, but uh, what we're going to do is this, like I said, this wall is coming out with an LVL across here. So this is all one big open space for open floor plan. Right now there's a gas line for this range there. We're going to move that gas line over here and then uh, sink, dishwasher. Um, refrigerator and you can imagine the space without the wall to be enough room for a nice L-shaped kitchen with an island in there and with that breezeway space that'll be a nice eating area with a slider going out to the back deck and then we head upstairs and two bedrooms up here so one on the right hand side is a little bit smaller what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that window out and this space here that's going to become a closet. There'll be no window there, but if we come around, there's a window here, and then we're going to put double dormer window here. So it'll be double window with a window seat. This bathroom here is the same size as the one downstairs, so we'll do a, uh, a tub, toilet, vanity, 24 inch vanity. And then in here, this is a bigger room. We're going to reframe this so there's just one window, and have a closet here, and a closet here. And then when we come around the other side, we're gonna double dormer uh, window there as well. And actually what we're also gonna do, cause, cause space is a premium, there isn't a lot, it's an older home, so there isn't a lot of storage. So this here, we're gonna frame in a linen closet uh, for use for that bathroom. 